All right, I'm Mike Morano reporting for DameWildcats.com and joined right now by our head men's basketball coach, Mike McDonald. Uh, first week of the regular season here, Coach, and uh, you guys are coming off a 77-55 loss uh, in an exhibition game last week against uh, Division One Buffalo. A um, couple of things to, to chat about in that game. Um, you, know, you guys made, made a nice little run towards the end of the first half, ended up uh, being down eight. Um, offense just really never never got going in the second half, though. No, we never really clicked. We didn't shoot it well. I thought the uh, free throws in the first half really hurt us. I think we were uh, 5 of 12, and we missed two front ends of one and ones and uh, we were leaving too many points out there when you're playing a really good team like Buffalo. And... Uh, um, that that also I think that has an emotional effect too. You know, it's kind of a, a more of a weight on your shoulders when you're not making free throws. When you when you, if you make a few of those, now you're going into the halftime instead of being down eight, maybe you're down two or three, and there's a whole different vibe and, and, a, and a shorter hill to climb coming out of the second half. Um, but we, you're right, our offense was not good uh, in the second half. But credit Buffalo's defense; they were very good. They're very active. They remembered the. Uh, uh, Jeff Redband's name and where he was at all times and they did not let him get open. I kind of had a feeling before the game when I was talking to Nate Oates and he said, let's just hope Redband doesn't have eight threes again tonight. And I said, it's going to be a tough night for Jeff because I knew they were going to shadow him wherever he went. Um, and you know, Buffalo is a highly touted team. You know, they're, they're picked to win the, the Mac East division this year. And, um, uh, one of the you guys were missing a key piece. Deion Hamilton was out, didn't play um, with an injury. Um, we'll, we'll talk more more about his status in a minute. But uh, a couple of positives to take out of the game. I, I think first of all, you start with your, your two guys that are coming off of uh, missing a whole season with, with injuries, and that's Jay Sarkis and Nick Petroselli. Uh, both of them started for you. Both of them scored in double figures. Um, you know, what did you see from the two of them in their first game action in quite a while? It's funny. I thought Jay took. A a little while to get comfortable out there. He got in foul trouble early. He got a couple fouls quickly. But once he settled in the second half, I thought he was really looked like he did two years ago. Nick played like Nick. He's all over the floor. He's diving. He uh, plays very hard. He's a he's a pest out there at times for the other team. And I thought he did some really good things. Um, you know, and uh, again, his biggest thing was miss, he missed free throws. You know, and uh, um, when he missed free throws, I think some of that is you know haven't he hasn't played in the game in a year and a half. So you kind of get back to your rhythm of playing in the game, being in the, in the game atmosphere and having to make free throws. So there's going to be some adjustment time for both those guys, but it was good to see him back in the Damon uniform and playing. Yeah, without a doubt, I would agree. And uh, I, I also agree, it didn't take Nick very long to – playing the way that we've seen Nick play before. Yeah. He's diving all over the floor and, um, as you said, just being a pest out there. Pest um, Selly. Yeah, we'll call him that. That's, there you that's go. A <laughs> Also, Andrew Cisco, uh, redshirt freshman, big man, very impressive uh, in, in his first collegiate game action. Uh, came off the bench, 13 points and seven rebounds. What did you see from him? I thought he played great. He played really well, you know, against a, a, against Nick Perkins, who is a first team, potential first team All Mac player. You know, Andrew was great. I mean, he really he used his body. He he made some good post moves. He was disappointed because he didn't shoot a high percentage. He missed a couple of close ones to the basket. But you know, he's a freshman. There are going to be good days. There are going to be bad days. But I think Andrew has shown that he's got a very bright future here at Damon. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, you guys will, will officially open the season with the uh, first regular season games and. Uh, with a, with a what's become a, a pretty big annual event here, and that's the the ECC CACC Challenge. Uh, if you can get all those C's in there, <laughs> um, presented by uh, Western New York Knee and Orthopedic Surgery PC. Um, you guys will open with Felician on Friday night, followed by uh, I guess take on Nyack on Saturday. There's uh, neutral site games with uh, Roberts Wesleyan before each of your games. So um, you know. You looking forward to this weekend? Very much. Let's get started. It's about time. Let's go. Our guys are excited to play. Um, Felician's very good. Um, they have a tremendous returning player. Um, they're going to be. We're, they have a transfer from Clarion who can really shoot it. They have. They have some pieces that we're going to have to play really well. We played against them two years ago in the Dominican tournament, and they're very well coached. Um, just a real good team, and we're going to have to. We're going to have to be at our best. 
in order to compete um, against Felician on Friday. And then Nyack is coming off a game with Central Connecticut, which was a one possession game. I mean, they're they're a uh, uh, Nyack is a very dangerous team that will play very hard too. So for us, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have our hands full this weekend. But we gotta throw it up. We gotta play somebody, and let's go get started and see what happens. Yeah, Ni- uh, excuse me, Fel- Felician, the, the the returning player you mentioned, uh, Terrell Spaulding. He's coming back. He's averaged almost 19 points a game for them last yes. season. Um, but this is um, you guys have. Uh, Part of the reason why why your team this team has had some success is getting off on the right foot, and that this team, since this tournament has become the, a conference challenge event, uh, you guys have a five and one record in these games. And um, another big reason why the team has had success is success at home. Uh, the team seventy and ten since two thousand eleven at home. Um, so what what will it mean? You're trying for to make guys? me feel better, aren't you? Uh, well, yeah. what will it mean for you guys? You know, if you're able to, to get off on the right. Well, foot? we just got to try and play well. I think that's our biggest thing. I didn't think. We played real well or real sharp against Buffalo, and we want to play better. And that's one of our things going forward is we have to play better. We have to. We're still figuring out our rotation, getting guys who were injured hopefully back. I don't know. We don't know about Dion, but we're hoping he'll be back, and um, you know that'll add something to the mix of where guys are playing, where they fit, and uh, and the rotation. So these early season games are very important because you're trying to learn a lot about your team. I think uh, you know you mentioned the one loss was to. Holy Family team that was really good, one of the best teams in the East Region that year, and it was a three-point loss, I believe, um, right at the end. And we played played really well, and it was a great game. And and that that team that year, we started off kind of poorly, um, but we rebounded and got better. But we learned a lot about ourselves, more so maybe from the loss than we did from the win. So I know last year we we beat two very good teams um, to start the year with Caldwell and Dominican, two teams that ended up being really good programs, had great seasons, and uh, they were two hard-fought you know, one possession type game. So you don't know, you don't know what's going to happen early in the year. We just want to get off on the right foot, play the right way, play the way we want to play and start to establish our identity and kind of figure out what our identity is. Um, you mentioned it, Deion Hamilton. And he's your leading returning scorer, 12 points a game. His status for Friday is a little bit up in the air. So we're, we're hopeful that, that he'll be back in the lineup. Um, but uh, we are looking forward to to an exciting uh, weekend of Division Two college basketball action here. Um, I think it's I don't want fourteen straight wins and season openers for Damon. I believe <laughs> I got to I got to look, but uh, yeah. it's either fourteen or fifteen. Like a walking black cat with a microphone. <laughs> hey, bad luck. So um, we'll be going for. Uh, looking to start the season off on a, on a high note again and uh, as always we'll have you covered with all the information you need at damowildcast.com every game this weekend will be on uh, broadcast on the ECC network so we, we invite you to tune in uh, I'll be in my normal role color analyst uh, along with CJ along I'll have the uh, play-by-play so coach good luck this weekend thank you Mike you too